hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is another web technology informational video where we will talk about what is a rest api and how it works so basically we do have several videos in our youtube channel showing you how to use a rest api so maybe by using javascript or any other programming languages but you may still have some confusion on how the rate uh, how a rest api really works so that's why we're going to talk about uh, what is the rest api and how will it help us during development on our web uh, technologies or web software uh, this is actually a part one of our video tutorial series on how to build a rest api on php now let's go to the details of what is an API. So basically an API stands for Application uh, Program Interface. So Application Program Interface, and that's a very broad term. So there is all kinds of API, but we're specifically talking about Web API here. So there's an API in your smartphones or an, even in your refrigerators. and so this is a very generalized but essentially uh, an api is a contract provided of or provided by one piece of software to another piece of software and it usually consists of structure uh, structured request and then a structured response so one piece of software it says give me this kind of information or this information formatted in this way and I'll give you this data or this function or whatever that response may be. So in order for us to better understand what an API is, so let's uh, have a look on the analogy that I provided here of what is an API. So this is the analogy that we have here. So we have customers sitting on the table. So consider this customers as a client or web application and then the kitchen is the server or the service that uh, that process certain requests well the waiter is like an api so it is uh, formatted to take a certain order in a specific way and then bring back a certain meal and this would be the data or the response that you re uh, that you requested so an API is basically a messenger or a waiter between running software. Think of this as the connection between the client or the request uh, requesting client and the server. So this is the API at the center, providing a way of communication between two software. So now let's talk about REST. Okay, so basically it is a representational state transfer and it is an architecture style for designing network applications so it relies on stateless client server protocol uh, which is http and you're quite familiar with http right so it treats server objects as resources that can be created or destroyed and can be used by virtual any or virtually any programming languages so rest can be used by javascript php python c sharp uh, and other languages that are available today so http has different methods or uh, methods that are being used so we have this uh, methods number one is to get so the purpose it the purpose of this is to retrieve data from a specified uh, resource we also have post meaning uh, we submit data to be processed to a specified resource and get and post uh, basically these are the two um, methods that are basically used on a form get and post and then we also have this put so the put method is an update to a specified resource and also we have the delete so delete a specified 
resource. And then we also have this three other methods, which is head, options, and patch. But uh, we're not going to go into details on, on these three. So we will be familiarizing only the get, post, put, and delete. So now we're going to look at the sum of the endpoints or example endpoints. So this is the URI or URL where our API or service can be accessed by a client application. So this is just an example on how the endpoint works. So we have get. So get and then the URL or the URI that the API or service can be accessed. So anyway, we can always choose a directory instead of by using API. We can have always the option to use different directories. For example, um, API access, it depends on your preference. We also have get and then specify the uh, ID. And then we also have post. So as you can see, uh, post and get have uh, can have different or have the same uh, URI. But we don't have to worry about that because we specify the post or the get, which is the method to use. So it doesn't matter if they have different or they have the same um, URI that we're using. Then we have put. And then this is the example um, URI specifying the ID and of course the delete. The same thing with get, put, and delete. Th they have the same um, URI being used but the different methods get, put, and delete. Now let's try to have a look on how to set up our PHP REST um, project. So I'm going to show you how to properly uh, arrange or configure your REST project. So for the purpose of this video tutorial series, I'm going to use one server. So it is uh, consisting of Apache, PHP, MySQL, and MariaDB. So it is a Windows web development environment. And if you want to use one server, you can go ahead and download WAM server and install it on your local development machine. So, actually you can also use other uh, server that you want or you prefer. So you can use LAMP, SAMP or other versions of this server. So we will also use PDO or PHP data objects. So it is basically an extension that will provide us um, consistent interface for accessing databases in PHP. It will be helpful for us to use pay, uh, PHP data objects, okay? And also I'm going to use for our code editor, I'm going to use uh, Visual Code or Visual Studio Code as our primary code editor. And it is uh, open source and can be run everywhere. You can download for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So you can use that. But anyway, you can also use your preferred code editor. You can use Sublime. You can use Atom. But yeah, for the purpose of this video tutorial, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So for the uh, layout of our project, PHP project, so I have created the... Uh, directory php rest that will be the name of our project and then you can it is created on the uh, root directory of our server so php rest and under here we will just create few directory for our um, files so con includes and then we also have no not under includes um, delete this. I need to delete this. Okay. Um, core. So in core, we will be creating few files. I'll be creating the initialize that PHP. So basically, the purpose of this um, 
file is to initialize all other uh, all our settings in our project and then of course in include we will create also another file which is config.php so config.php will contain our database connection for our project so i think that's all there is to it for this tutorial and in the next video we will continue working on with our php rest and actually writing the code to uh, start our php rest object so or php rest project so see you in the next video thanks